Good morning and welcome to Colombia. After spending all of 2003 traveling the world, we never actually made it to this continent. And because we had two leftover vouchers from COVID, we decided to join EF Ultimate Break's journey through Colombia to see what this country is really about. For seven days, we'll be exploring the bustling city of Medellin and the beachside city of Cartagena. We're hoping to show you guys what most people don't see. The colorful culture, their love of sports, their incredible foods, and of course, coffee, just to scratch the surface. Unfortunately, the first two days of our tour didn't exactly go as planned. After flying from Minneapolis to New York, our flight to Miami got delayed an hour, and we ended up spending the night in the Miami airport. And so, after 39 hours of no sleep and barely any food, we managed to make it to our hotel in Medellin. The city known as Eternal Spring because it stays 72 degrees all year round. And because the city is located in the Andes Mountains, it's also known for its flower and coffee plantations. And in the city, they're best known for their graffiti. Because we missed our pre-arranged walking tour of the city from our delayed flight, we ended up signing up for a free graffiti and walking tour of Medellin through Zippy Tours. We saw all types of graffiti and learned about the history of Medellin. Specifically, how in the 1940s to 60s, the country entered into civil conflicts, mainly between the communist guerrillas, who used kidnappings, blackmail, and extortion to continue their power and control over local people, and the far-right paramilitary and government-controlled groups. Eventually, the conflicts paused in 2016 when groups signed their first peace agreement. Since then, the government has highly encouraged tourism, encouraging visitors like us to enjoy the vibrant cities in Colombia like Medellin, activities like hip hop dances, freestyle street rapping. What is the city? Alaska. Alaska, welcome my friend, Alaska, la casa mi hermano. And walking tours of areas like Comuna 13 which was once the poorest and most violent neighborhood in the city. After seeing the many unique sights of Comuna 13, now one of the most popular tourist destinations in Medellin, and even taking our turn on the famous brightly colored slides, and some of the only outdoor escalators in South America, we followed Jesus back down the mountainside, caught a bus that hit a car, and ended our day at Cafe Noir, an epic eatery that served their checks in dry ice. The next day we did a whole lot of nothing. We made our way to Cartagena with the group, tried a Colombian McDonald's, chilled by the rooftop pool, and watched the sunset from our balcony. It was the perfect day to rest, catch up on a little bit of sleep, and prepare for our full day of exploring Cartagena tomorrow. Our first day in Cartagena meant a full day walking tour of the city organized by EF. I walk. I walk. First, we explored San Felipe Fortress, a fortress originally built in 1536 to protect the city. Nowadays, you can enjoy some of the most incredible overlooks of Cartagena while exploring some of the creepiest tunnels. These are called the Casa Matas. If you translate, it's like a house for killing. Then we made our way to the Old Town, where we tried lots of Colombian goodies like local fruits. Okay, but before, let me, let me introduce you with Jose. He's a lot of 40 years selling fruits here in the Old Town. This one is called guava. So you put it in your mouth. Only eat the white part. This is for guava. All right. Yeah. It's like, actually we go like, it's, it's like, like a really old banana. Show us how to eat the canepas. Put it in your mouth. I got five. Sweets at a local sweet festival. Okay guys, if you wanna try some. Try it. I'll save this. Not bad. Try another one. That's not spicy. Yeah, this is the tamarind. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I knew this was my vegetable. 
and of course, some Colombian coffee. We ended up making a stop at San Alberto, which is apparently the most awarded coffee here in Colombia. We'll see if it's as good as the poop coffee in Indonesia. Oh, actually, yeah, it's really smooth. Agreed, it's so good, so smooth. Would you recommend Colombian coffee? Yes, 100%. We even found the world's best $1 cup of orange juice. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Is it good one? It's so good. Got a fresh juice. One dollar. Oh. Like best orange juice I've ever had. Ever. ever. But the very best part, ending the day on a sunset catamaran cruise. How do you like the sunset cruise so far? It's actually pretty relaxing. On the patient. And before we knew it, it was already our very last day in Colombia, a full day in the sun and ocean organized by EF Ultimate Break. After catching our boat ride to the middle of the ocean, we swam, snorkeled, and saw some fishies before heading to the Rosario Islands for lunch and to enjoy our last few hours in Colombia. So, it is officially lunchtime here on the island. Thank you. Tyler just got his tilapia. I've got my whole fish today. It looks absolutely incredible. Cannot wait to dig in. Oh, it's good. And after spending the rest of the afternoon lounging around the day beds, getting yes. a beachside yes. massage, and enjoying some ice cream. Um, I don't know, what are you getting? Dulce de leche and vanilla and white rice. White Yeah, is that yes. fine? Sí. Raisin? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Raisin? Raisin. <laughs> yes. Yes. We made it back to our room for one final Colombian sunset view from our hotel room. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. We had the most incredible time exploring Colombia, and although it was short and we missed a few things we wanted to do, it was super nice for once to not have to plan any of the details. If you have any questions about Colombia or about EF Ultimate Break, make sure to drop them in the comments. We're off to have our final farewell dinner with the group, and we will see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Tyler, you got in trouble. I did, I yelled at. <laughs> She's been harassing me. It's scary to be both.